I might have known it was you. What is it now? I remembered what Olmstead used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure me, Sir Olmstead, of my everlasting devotion and friendship. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. Yeah, you don't want to say Olmstein because... What is it that endeared you so to Olmstead, Mr. Serge? He's, um, well, uh, huh, strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. I just feel so loyal to him. Strange. I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. Yeah, okay. How do you remember Olmstead? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? Uh, I, um, well, huh, funny. Now that you mention it, I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but I'm an old man, and my memory is foggy about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. Ah, uh, so he's definitely under some kind of influence. If he can't remember what his face looks like, and... Yep. Is Flamel's, uh, thing still up there? Is Sing music type? Oh, come on, Serge. I work for the man. You know, the stabilizing element he was after. I truly know nothing of what Monsieur Olmstead was researching up there. I figured he would keep you in the loop, no? It's complicated. I don't want to say Olmstein sends his regards because we're going to say Olmstein rather than Olmstev. Mm -hmm. And that might tip him off. So. Thanks, Serge. I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bother at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstead. Ooh. Uh, a broken stained glass window, a pentagram. He hasn't noticed that there's a gaping bunch hole. of rubble or a gaping hole in the window. Yep. There's all these books. An ancient armoire. A really old, really crooked armoire. It'll probably lead us to Narnia. It looks, well, ancient. A uh, big vertical crack in it lets me know it's empty. <laughs> I don't see, I don't see the big vertical crack unless he means this tiny sliver here. Strange dust. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Probably alchemical in nature. No time to look into it. Could this possibly be manganese? I thought manganese was more purple rather than blue. Do you remember? In your... It burns purple. I think. No, oh, but it was also a purple Maybe. powder. I thought it burned a different color, like green. No, green tends to be things that are related to copper. Okay. Oh yeah, flames of peculiar colors are awesome. Let's see, pentagram. Of course there had to be a pentagram, of course. Oh, I probably don't want to stand in that. That might lead us somewhere. Also notice that it's highlighted. I think that means that, oh, let's look at Paris. Paris. There we go. Ah, Paris, the city of lights. More like lightning now. Huh. 
looks just as dreary as any other town in a thunderstorm. What a cacophony. Too many damned people. Yeah, at Zothtu. Yeah. At okay. I see. So if you choose the strange dust on either side, look at the rotting books. Ancient books rotting away in this forsaken attic. So much for anyone ever reading them. They're no use to anybody anymore. They're no use to anybody anymore. Okay. Well, there's the surviving books. They're up on a higher shelf. These particular books had somehow survived. They seem to be in alphabetical order. I was going to have to make some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually. Ooh. Interesting. The Cultor Est in Tenebris could... Et mores in paritibus. So I've... this is out of oblivion. Feles de Uthar. I don't know what Feles means. Iconis. Identificatio. Idol. Idolat race. So, identifying idols, perhaps? Idolum in igni, so in fire, in flame. I mean, the first one is cults in the dark. Might as well. Oh, yeah, Tenebris is dark. Might as well just click on that one. Really? Yeah. Well, Impedio Vasarosis. I don't, I don't know who Vasarosis means. Inatabris metum. In nomine orbis. Why don't you just click on one of them and we'll just see how it goes? Oh, look! Polaris. Sepulchrum. Terribilis SNX. Uh, I can also, Sipicum. like, Google some of these. Okay, sure. You want to see about the Cult of Tenebris? Inquisitoris et cautus ad impugnandum. Volgate opinioni we Try clicking on it, because the yeah. top ones. Oh, wait, look at this pentagram. Oh, go back, go back. Close out of this. Do we need to choose? A, oh, do we need to create? Uh, go look at the historical, uh, the, um. Do we need to look at the pentagram? The psychometry of the pentagram. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. If we look at the pentagram and we see what words are necessary for it, then we'll be able to... I guess Olmstev tried to follow in Flamel's footsteps. Know this, Seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. And what does that say there? I know of rituals involving certain words that need to be spoken near each angle of a wicked sign. Where do I look for them? Well, the books. Yeah, so don't, not yet. We got to figure out what to say, though. Go back to the pentagram and see what he said. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he said something. Well, he said order. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, no, look at this. This is new. Okay. Now we have one for each side. I, or the Roman numeral for one. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Are all of them the same? Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order. Is it the same for every single one? I don't know what to say. Was it the strange powder? The strange powder was in the ancient evil language, but not in Latin. Yeah, at Zothtu. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Were there any other... Order is capital. Well, so does that mean that it has to be capitalized letters? Let's go back and take a look at the books. That's what I was thinking. Well, actually... This one has est in it. And this has est in it. Out. Oh. Is Senex order? Let me look it up. Without order, all in yeah so all in Senex the world old. Uh, the old world would wait be covered in in the ocean it would be yeah it would drown in the sea and from fossil to homes sugia et silva wait the forest? Okay. Unfortunately, it's been a long time since I had taken Latin, and we never learned all of this vocabulary, per se, just the basics. Wait! So Kingsport! Invetus ome homo cogitare. D. Ricci. Oh, okay, interesting. Wait, wait, look at this. The first word is Iconis. The primum verbum escata secundum librum identificatio idolatres. The second, okay, that's where the second word is. I think this might tell you. The third, see tertium librum est idolum in ignis. Can you write this down for me, please? Or can you get me a pad? Actually, give me a second. Yeah? Wander's gonna get me a pad. Or are you writing on your iPad? Yeah, I'll, I'll write it down on my iPad. coming down okay quarta okay Good. well the interesting thing is it has second twice and third twice and fourth twice do you want me to tell you all the possibilities Sure. Um. Yeah. Okay, Wander's okay. getting the Got pad it. ready so we can start writing. It is ready. Okay, so primum is repeated twice, but it, if you notice, it's talking about the words and then the verbs. So you have Iconis. And then Catus. So both of those. So it'd be. So the first book is Icona, Iconus. But that's and then primum the... verbum is Catus. Mm-hmm. The secundum librum identificatio. Id yeah. Remember how there was the identificatio idolatres. Because there, that was definitely in one of the titles of the books. Okay, second singulum hoc verbum est. Yes, but that's for the verb. The third word is idolum and ignis. 
Or no, the book. Sorry, Librum. Like, you know, like how yeah. there's Bibliotheca. Okay, the third book is the Idolum in Ignis, but the third word is Draconi. And then the fourth one is, okay, Impedio Vasarosis. And then the, the verb in that. Wait. In quarta autem verbo n. Oh, so maybe it's the fourth one in it? Because then it skips on to Quintus. The fifth is in the Vastificum. And that's the final one, Ultima. Okay, so Quintus Extremum Verbum Est Finum. Okay, one minute. Let me think uh, of this. So... The last word is... Well, I'm trying to th remember what quote quote is. Well, actually, no, oh. no, no. Quote is where, I think, is the final. Here, Shelf. Yeah? Well, we you... have everything but that last clue nailed down. Let's just go to Vestificum and look at it. And then, yeah, you see, you say, uh, yeah, the Catus Pentagram and, yeah, Ad Unum. You locate the second pentagram. Draconi pentagram is at the third angle, and then the pentagram loqui. Yeah, so this is a this was a good pick. Remember which book I even chose for that? <laughs> was it this one? No. No. Okay. Well, so what's the first book? Well, go back to uh, Vesti Vestificum. Right, but wasn't Vestificum the last book? So this is the word that, uh, th this is the book that gave us the order. Interestingly enough, Vestificum is the the book with the last word in it. Oh, right, it is. Quintus Extremum Verbum Quot Est Finem. The top is Finem. Uh-huh. It might just be Fenem. Ibi Unum Tantum. Oh, I see. Well, we need to do number one first, regardless. Yeah, can, can somebody translate Quintus Extremum Verbum Quat Est? You can look it up yourself. My phone. Let me just type that out real quick. I mean, it really could be the final. Uh, come on. Quintus... Extremum verbum. Uh, let's see. Can you go back? I'm not okay. done. Okay. Sure. I was just wanting to read some I'm of the almost, other ones. I'm almost done. All right. The last word is the fifth. Fine. Fine. Nam. Not fine. It. The last word is the end of the fifth. Well, then that's this. Yeah, so it's Phenom? So Phenom is the last one. Okay. So uh, it really was just the final of the final of the final. Well, let's start with the first one. Okay, the so first Iconis. One, Iconis. This one. Okay. Catus. It's straight up just the first word. Catus. All right. Okay, so they're hidden. Uh, I suppose I don't need to read the rest of them. So what was the second book? Idolat idolatrous? Uh, wait, really? Which one? Idolatrous. Well, there's Idolum no, and Ignis. Later. <coughs> Tenebris, Morace. It's the middle left. To the left. Wait, oh, the identificatio idolatris. Yeah. Okay. And what was the word that was needed in that one? Est. Est. Catus est. 
All right, third third book. Uh, Dolum and Ignis. Okay. And we're looking for Draconi. Draconi. And then the fourth book? Uh, Impetio. Okay. Vacerosis. And it was Quad? Right? Or no, no, no. It was either Quad or In. Oh, In. Okay. Catus Estraconi in. And then it would just be Phenom. Right? Right? Wonder? Yeah. Catus est draconi in Phenom. So what? Something about a dragon in the end? <laughs> the cat is a dragon in the end? Is this The a... cat is a monster in the end. But I I don't remember if if the Latin word for cat is cat. It, it's, it is. I just translated it out. Really? Yeah. Because I know that most other romance languages have cat as like gato or something. But the cat is a dragon in the end. Really? Really, guys? Okay. Katos. I had chosen the book starting with an I and the first word in the sentence. I was onto something. Wait. That was how he figured it out? It, yeah, it wasn't... but because we translated, we translated the last the... book, which just tells you the whole thing. <laughs> so he was taking every book that started with I, right? Yeah, Iconis, Idolatris, Idolum, Impedio. The only one is Vestificum, which was not. Draconi. In. Phenom. Their buoyant conjurer. The ladder drops down. Right. Well, ready to ascend again. Let's see where chaos takes us. This way, seeker. Oh, so he's considered a seeker now. Yep. Oh, there's cat monster with no end. Is that another phrasing? I suppose in some languages, the where you place the verb and the noun, it differs. Ah, I'll have to look. Let's see. Bunch of different translations people are saying in chat. Yep. Creepy attic. Still Paris. Still in the rain. Poetic, but I don't have time for it. What a cacophony. Too many damned people. There's a lot of junk in here. I'm not going through all of it. Gotta keep my eyes on the prize. I have to stop getting distracted. No resonance. We probably just want to see what's in the container, but... Ooh, feathers again. Does this guy turn into a crow? I think so, yeah. Is that what the cor Corvax? Well, yeah. Is that the scientific name for crow? Well, uh... Crow's feathers scattered all around. What the heck? Probably. That's the feather that was also used in the pen. <gasps> Watch it be that the guy is being mind-controlled by the pen. I even hear the crows. I'm sure there's some kind of significance here, but it escapes me. Wait, Olmstaff gave a crow's feather pen to Serge. What does that mean? Everything has to be hermetical, doesn't it? <laughs> Corvus. Corvi. 
Corvinus. What? Wait. Crow, crow, crow. Mm-hmm. Well, the interesting thing about Corvinus... Uh, I'm starting to think into other mythology here about the whole, like, werewolves and vampires and stuff. But they're going to Transylvania, but this is supposed to be a Cthulhu game. Not vampires and werewolves. Uh... Cor oh, what? I see. Maybe he turned into... Yeah, that's my really assumption. Know. He cast that to escape. Mm hmm And that's how he was able to escape out the window the last time. I'll be damned. That's gotta be what I'm looking for. The container of Constance, as it were. Huh. <laughs> sure put up a fight, didn't you, Olmstef? Or Olmstein, or whatever. Come to daddy. Flormilus Necessarium Est. Flormilus Necessarium Est. Wait, isn't that just Flamella? Is Ness something is yeah, it was necessary? Yeah, Flamel needs this. Needs this? Hmm. There's no apparent latch or handle, and it looks firmly locked. Wait, but is Flamel alive then? After all this time? Well... Or did he look really weird in the portrait because he became an immortal fish person, too? After delving into alchemy and eldritch stuff. What do you think? There's no apparent latch or handle, and it looks firmly locked. <laughs> do I use the fish hook on it? I mean, no Flamel... No visible opening to slip this into. Flamel is usually associated with, like, immortality. Just apply if Flamel. I... Just apply Flamel? Hey, what? It, it worked. What? By putting the pamphlet on it, it... Okay. Because Flamel... Flamel, at least in, like, Harry Potter, for example, which totally lifted it. Wait, people are saying the vampires and werewolves are in the Cthulhu myth mythos. Really? I, I haven't read any of Lovecraft's... Tales. I really should. With all these Cthulhu games, we really should be starting to read the Lovecraft books. But let's see. A page. Huh. A solitary page. Looks like it was torn out of a book. Is this it? Really? But hey, pages have untold uses and purposes. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see what this says. Huh. Interesting. I should tell Buzz about this right away. He'd better have a cell phone signal. 